dream of Asian power dreams, actually reflecting a dream of prosperity for all Asian regions. The question is this, the dream is over there. How are we going to walk the talk? How are we going to make sure that the dream is going to be able to come true? Next week, I'm going to present to the Minister of Energy and Mineral Resources the new national electricity planning. With this new national electricity planning, 75% of additional generation capacity until 2040 is coming from renewable energy. But there is a mismatch. The resources of renewable energy is located in those remote areas and scattered, while the epicentrum of demand is located in the other part of the archipelago. The only way to harness those renewable energy is through the development of the green enabling transmission line. Yes, we're going to face a lot of challenges. I'm sure with this kind of spirit of collaborations, we're going to be able to overcome policy, technical, commercial. We're going to be able to map out every single challenge and each of the challenges is going to be addressed properly in such a way there is only one direction is to move forward. I can convey the ASEAN power grid is more than towers, more than only substation, than wires because it represents a symbol, a symbol of a new strength that ASEAN that previously fragmented today with this kind of meeting to become unified. This ASEAN super grid is the very foundation of a brighter, much more resilient future to give prosperity for our diverse ASEAN.